Let's look at payments to resident persons when it comes to withholding tax. In case the payments are being made to resident persons. Yeah, so we know we shall start with interest payments. Yeah, withholding tax on interest payments. A resident person who pays interest to another resident person is required to withhold tax at a rate of 15% on that gross amount of the interest paid. In case an, a resident of Uganda is paying interest to another resident, they are supposed to withhold tax of 15%. However, withholding tax is not applicable where interest is paid by the following. First is where interest is paid by a natural person or an individual. It's not, it's not taxed. Another condition is where there is interest other than interest from government securities. Meaning that interest from government securities is not subject to withholding tax. Then in case the interest is being paid to a financial institution, a financial institution like a bank, it is not subject to withholding tax. Then in case it is paid by a company to an associated company like a subsidiary company, it's not subject to withholding tax. Then in case the interest being paid is exempt from tax, in the hands of the recipient in case you are paying it to someone who is exempt from tax yeah it will not be subject to withholding tax so those are the conditions where withholding tax is not applicable in case of payment of uh, interest so the interest payments on government securities it is taxed at a rate of 20%, not 15% like the rest. So it is taxed at a rate of 20%, and that 20% is a final tax. After paying that 20%, you will not pay any other tax. Let's look at withholding tax on dividends. A resident company which pays a dividend to a resident shareholder is also required to withhold tax at a rate of 15% of the gross amount of dividends paid, except where the dividend income is exempt from tax in the hands of the shareholder, where the shareholder is exempt from paying tax. Yeah, but if not, they are supposed to withhold dividends, or they are supposed to withhold tax at a rate of 15% of the gross income. But where the shareholder is a natural person, like a resident individual, the tax withheld on such dividends is final and not refundable. In case the shareholder is only one person, yeah, they only withhold that tax of 15% and no other tax is imposed on that income. So the tax withheld is final and it's, it's non-refundable. The withholding tax rate applicable for dividend payments from companies listed on stock exchange to individuals is 10%. So in case one is a shareholder for a company that is listed on the stock exchange, they're supposed to pay withholding tax of 10%. Yeah. Let's look at withholding tax on goods and services or withholding tax on supplies. Yeah, where the government of Uganda, a government institution, a local authority, or a company in which the government has interest in, or any person designated in notes issued by the Ministry of Finance, pays an amount in aggregate exceeding one million to any person in Uganda for supply of goods, materials, or any other kind of materials. The payer is required to withhold 6% of the gross amount. So in case you are paid by the government or anyone related to the government in any way, yeah, a government institution, a local authority, yeah, be, before you, you receiving that money, they are supposed to first deduct 6% of that money as withholding tax. In case the money they're giving you exceeds one million. Let's look at withholding tax on professional fees. A resident person who pays management or professional fees to a resident professional is required to 
withhold tax at a rate of 6% of the gross amount of payment. Yeah, a resident professional, all the, the professionals, we, we mean the accountants, the auditors, the lawyers. So a resident person who pays professional or management fees to a resident professional is required to withhold tax at a rate of 6% of that gross amount. And excluded from this provision are the professionals whom the commissioner is satisfied that they have regularly complied with the obligations imposed by the Income Tax Act and those professionals ordinarily engaged as payroll employees. So in case the commissioner is satisfied that that person or yeah, that person has been complying with the tax regulations, they may not pay withholding tax of 6%. And whereby they they are not payroll employees anywhere. Yeah, they may not pay withholding tax of 6%. But if not, professionals are supposed to pay withholding tax of 6%. And it's supposed to be withheld by the person paying. So what, what makes the commissioner think that you've regularly complied with the tax obligations? Yeah, that's what we are going to look at. So any professional meeting the following requirements will be considered to have regularly complied with the obligations imposed under the Income Tax Act. First, if you are registered with the Uganda Revenue Authority, it means that you've been complying with the income tax obligations. Then in case you submitted the provisional final or self-assessment returns for the company and individuals, including the directors, and then you paid monthly payee and VAT returns by the due date for the last three years, yeah, the last consecutive years, in case you, you've been submitting your provisional returns and then the final returns and then paying payee and VAT all in time before the due date, in the last three years, you are considered to have complied, regularly complied with the tax obligations. Then in case you submitted all the director's returns, yeah, for the companies only, it's only companies that submit the director's returns. So in case you're a company whereby you submitted all the director's returns, you're considered to have complied with the tax obligations. Where the person has fully settled all the taxes by the due dates for the three preceding years of income, like you've been complying with the tax regulations, you always pay your taxes on time for the last three years. Then the person has fully withhold tax under the Act. In case it's your turn to withhold tax from someone, you've been doing it like the way it's supposed to be. Then in case you paid all the customs due to the debt, you paid all the customs duty and everything. And then in case the person has entered and owners an arrangement to pay any URA areas for the tax due, in case URA is demanding you some tax, you already have an agreement of how you're going to pay that tax. Then the person has complied with any notes or any requirement to provide information under the Income Tax Act. Yeah, and those are some of the situations or the conditions that can make someone or that can make the commissioner to say that you've regularly complied with the tax obligations. Let's look at withholding tax in, on imports. Every person who imports, who imports in Uganda is liable to pay a withholding tax at a rate of 6%, yeah, depending on the customs value in Uganda. But the rate does not apply in the following categories, where someone is importing petroleum or petroleum products like oil, furnace, lubricants, other than things like cosmetics. Yeah, where someone is also importing plant and machinery, where someone is importing human and animal drugs, then in case you're importing things that have to do with school, 
the scholastic materials, the books, the pens. Then in case there are imports for exempt organizations, they are also not taxed. Exempt organizations, we mean organizations like NGOs. Then in case there are raw materials, like imported, like when they are for manufacturing finished products, they are not subject to that withholding tax of 6%. Then the last condition is where the commissioner is satisfied that you've regularly complied with the tax obligations.